This fascinating country with an astonishing mix of natural highlights and cultural diversity is full of surprises and one of Southeast Asia's most underrated destinations. In Vietnam, located in between the South China Sea and the Laos and Cambodia borders, the scenery ranges from flourishing rice terraces and forested mountains in the north to the picturesque valleys of the Central Highlands, the Fertile Delta and beautiful beaches of the south. So here's a look at the best places to visit in Vietnam. Number 1. Ho Chi Minh City Ho Chi Minh City, formerly known as Saigon is Vietnam's commercial hub and largest city. The Giac Lam Pagoda is the oldest temple in Ho Chi Minh City and was built in 1744. The pagoda is set in a pretty garden and the name of the temple actually means Feel the Woods Temple. At the entrance of the temple you will find a graceful Bodhi tree which is sacred in Buddhism and was actually a present from a visiting monk from Sri Lanka in 1953. Another major landmark is the Thien Hao Temple located in Cholin, Ho Chi Minh City's Chinatown. This evocative temple is visited by local worshippers, and many of the materials used in its construction were brought from China. While you're visiting Chinatown, it's also worth stopping by the hectic Binte Market which sells everything from fresh produce to Chinese trinkets. The area is also home to some beautiful examples of classical Chinese architecture. The red brick Notre Dame Cathedral with its neo-Romanesque architecture is a distinctive landmark in the center of the city. Its twin square towers rise almost 60 meters above the city capped by iron spires. Built from 1877 to around 1883, the cathedral was intended to be a place for the colonial missions to worship and a symbol of the power of the French colony. The exterior consists of red bricks from Marseille, and the clock between the two bell towers was built in Switzerland in 1887. Moving on to number 2, Hanoi. Hanoi is the vibrant capital of Vietnam and in addition to the gorgeous architecture, much of which dates from the colonial period. You will also find an engaging clutch of museums that will fill you in on all the history of this part of the country. The Museum of Ethnology has a huge collection of items that are related to the ethnic minorities in this country. This means that you can enjoy galleries of tribal art as well as artifacts and handicrafts. Other items in the museum include amazing models of traditional village houses and excellent signage in a range of languages to fill you in on all the cultural and historical significance. If you want to take in the best views over Hanoi then you need to visit the Latte Tower Observation Deck. You can go all the way up to the 65th floor where you can take in some amazing panoramic views of the city such as the Old Quarter which sprawls in every direction in front of you. Number 3. Hui Hui is one of the most charming towns in Vietnam and is located on the banks of the beautifully named Perfume River. The city is home to many sites worth visiting including the emperor's tombs, a number of pagodas, including the famous Tian Mu Pagoda, and French colonial buildings set along the river. As perhaps the most important construction of the Nguyen dynasty, the Tai Hoa Palace sits at the heart of the Hui Citadel. Right after crossing the No Mon Gate, a lotus lake and a long courtyard walkway provide an impressive welcome to the palace. The main room of the palace is a large hall with a timber roof and 80 timber columns. Originally meant for royal ceremonies and events, it was also the crowning place for Emperor Jia Long in the area where he received visitors during official business meetings. Housed inside the former Longan Palace, the Royal Fine Arts Museum offers a fascinating look into the culture and history of the city. The massive collection of over 10,000 objects include everything from ceramics and silver objects to personal belongings and royal clothing of former Vietnam emperors. Number 4. Dalat Located in the south of Vietnam is Charming Dalat, a scenic mountain town that used to be a hill station during the French colonial period when people came here on holiday in search of cooler weather. Linh Phuc Pagoda is one of the most famous temples in Vietnam thanks to its bell tower which stands at a height of 37 meters. This makes it the tallest bell tower of its kind in all of Vietnam and there is also a colorful central hall here which has a series of murals that tell the story of the life of Buddha. The Dalat flower gardens which stretch for some 7,000 square meters have more than 300 kinds of flowers on display. One of the best things about the gardens is that the flowers all bloom at different times of year, so whenever you choose to visit you are guaranteed to see something of interest. Number 5. Halong Bay 
Halong Bay consists of 2,000 amazing limestone islands, which are also a designated UNESCO World Heritage Site. Many of them are uninhabited and covered in gorgeous lush vegetation, making them perfect for hiking, while some of them are also home to famous caves where you can go spelunking. Hang Sung Sa Cave is located at Ban Han Island which has two different chambers in the cave which soar to a height of some 30 meters. The inner chamber is known for having a number of stone formations that are said to look like centuries lining up. There is even a stone in the center of the cave that looks like a general talking to his troops. Also located in Haolong Bay, Kat Ba is a gorgeous national park which boasts 32 different kinds of mammals. Some of these include lungurs which are the most endangered primates in the world. You will also find some amazing hiking trails here which include an 18-kilometer climb to the summit of the main peak in the national park. Now, before you plan your next trip to Vietnam make sure to check out the first link in the description where you can find the best deals for your flight, hotel and car rentals in Vietnam. Moving on to number 6, the Mekong Delta. The Mekong Delta forms a 35,000 square kilometer triangle lying just west of Ho Chi Minh City where over 50% of Vietnam's rice is produced. The nutrient-rich area is also home to roughly 1,000 species of fish, 20,000 plant species, a large bird population and plenty of other land and aquatic animals. The Vin Trang Pagoda is renowned across the country for being an enchanting historical, religious, and architectural treasure located in Mai Tho an amiable market town that nestles on the north bank of the Mekong River's northernmost strand, the Tien Jong, or Upper River. The temple complex houses four large interconnected sections, five buildings, 60 statues, 178 pillars and a bell made in 1854. Number 7. Hoi An Hoi An, located on the Thursday Bon River has a reputation for being one of the prettiest cities in all of Vietnam and the old town has been designated as a UNESCO World Heritage Site thanks to its 800 historic buildings. The Japanese Covered Bridge, located in the center of the city is one of its focal points. The bridge spans some 12 meters and is famous for its ornate carvings, many of which are in the shape of monkeys and dogs. If you want to know more about the history of this city you need to visit the Hoi An Museum. Here you will find a huge range of pieces that tell the story of the area including antiques that date from the Cham period as well as the colonial period. There are a number of exhibits that are filled with drawings, ceramics, paintings, photographs and large bronze temple bells. Number 8. Mi Cern. Located on the central coast of Vietnam and surrounded by lush jungle-covered mountains, Mi Cern is a ruined Cham-era temple city that dates from the 4th century. This old Hindu religious center was still very much in use during the 7th to 10th century and only fell into complete decline and abandonment during the 13th century. There are around 20 temple structures still standing, all built of brick or sandstone blocks bearing scenes of animals, priests, gods, mythical battles and inscriptions of Sanskrit and Kampa, with interesting influences from various Asian empires, including Indian and Malay. Number 9. Nia Trang this coastal city has made a name for itself as one of the prettiest seaside places in all of Vietnam. It is also known for its waterfalls with some of the most famous being Ba Ho and Ferry Spring Waterfalls. Ba Ho is made up of a series of three cataracts and at Ferry Spring Waterfalls you will find a large spring which fills a swimming pool at the base of the falls. A must-see are the Penugar Cham Towers which were built from the 7th to the 12th century. The towers are four separate buildings that are used as a place of worship by Cham, Chinese, Vietnam and Buddhist worshippers. One of them is called the North Tower which stands at a height of 28 meters and is remarkable as it has a pyramidal roof which is also terraced and the interior is made up of a vaulted ceiling and a grand foyer. Number 10. Sapa Beautiful Sapa is basically a collection of small local villages which are dotted around the mountains and are located in the northern mountains of Vietnam in the Muong Hoa Valley. At the Sapa Museum you can explore galleries which are dedicated to the various ethnic minorities that live in this part of Vietnam and date back to the French colonial period. Phan Si Pan is the highest mountain in Indochina and is located at some 3,143 meters above sea level. The mountain is around 9 kilometers outside the center of Sapa and it can take a full week to get to the top. 
the charmingly named Kat Kat village is one of the oldest villages in the Saba region and is famous for its traditional industries such as flax and cotton production and there is a strong tradition of weaving here. Another key attraction is Fairy Cave which is located a little way upstream from the Che River. The cave looks like something out of a fairy tale and is said to be sacred in Vietnam. The mountain here is also cut through with babbling streams which makes it the perfect place to go for a swim. Now, if you are still not sure where to take your next trip make sure to watch the travel guides that will show up right about now.